inside my new G-string. In this video, you'll discover if you can hear the difference between a silver violin G-string and a golden violin G-string. The thing is, I'm using the Pirasto Eva Pirazzi gold strings and I always bought it with the golden G-string because it said that it was warmer and the nice full sound etc. So I thought, yeah, that's nice. Um, but it's a very expensive G-string and maybe the whole set uh, quite expensive. Certainly if you know that I use like a new set of strings every three or four months. Um, and uh, so the golden is like $65 or something depending on where and when you buy it. And the silver G-string is around $35. And uh, just to be complete, I'll also be demonstrating a Thomas Tuck Dominant G string, which is around $20. And I know that a lot of you have that dominant string, so then you can see what difference it makes. Before shooting this video, I was at my pianist Mary and I asked her and my husband for their opinion on my G strings. So we're here in our first rehearsal after the pandemic. Yay! For now we've survived the pandemic and we're happy to be back uh, in business again. Yeah. Um, and who better to ask, because you have to uh, be the one who hears me play. Yes, sure. So you can have a say in if I uh, use a golden G-string yeah. or a silver G-string. Yeah. So, uh, and of course, who better to ask what G-string I should use uh, than my husband who is <laughs> filming right now. So here comes the golden G-string. <laughs> Expensive, but it doesn't necessarily sound better. Yeah. So. Now, <laughs> honey, what do you think about my G-string? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Did, did you hear a difference between the silver and gold? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't paying attention as well, though. <laughs> okay. By the way, after this video, my husband admitted that he just didn't feel like talking into the camera. So just said he couldn't hear a difference, but he liked the silver uh, as well. So just to be complete in this video, uh, I will play on the three different G-strings. So the Eva Priyasi Gold Golden G-string, uh, same silver G-string and the Thomas Tick Dominant. Uh, G-string. Uh, this is recorded with a different microphone than uh, the footage at my pianist Mari. So then you can know what difference that makes. Here is the golden G-string. <laughs>
And here we have the Eva Pirazzi Gold Silver G-String. <laughs> dominant g-string the standard one that is like a lot of g-strings uh, silver wound <laughs> to make this string sound well. Uh, I really had to dig in um, and yeah, use quite some tricks to, to get it to sound. And yeah, uh, I'm wasting a potential brand deal with Thomastic <laughs> probably. Uh, but yeah, compared to this Eva Predazzi Gold, it's, it's actually, yeah, what I was thinking is that it's horrible. <laughs> but actually it's, it's a decent string. <laughs> Uh, that a lot of people are happy with, that a lot of people use, uh, but uh, to play this piece it really was a challenge. Uh, what mainly was a challenge to get uh, higher up the G and to get a full sound. So those two things, uh, like... like here. You see, so I, if I press it then it, it makes real sound and if I don't press it then I don't really like the sound uh, as well and it also feels like yeah I'm digging in and then it, it feels like room like like uh, it, it's having too much uh, suspension uh, right there so that, that's the difference uh, and I think both Eva Parazzi Gold sound much better but they are of course more expensive so um, sorry Thomas Dick. So which G-string did you like best? Write me in the comments dominant, silver or gold and maybe let me know what you like about it. So what I noticed from uh, these three strings um, is that, you know, domestic dominants aren't bad strings. I've made a comparison uh, between the dominants and the fiddler man strings that might be very interesting for you. Uh, but it just was a lot more difficult and the Evergrassicals are simply a lot better. But they are, of course, in a different range. Um, I like the silver as well as the gold, actually. Uh, I don't really have a preference uh, because I think the gold uh, has this warm and mellow sound, but on the other hand, I think it misses the articulation or yeah, kind of the, it's not really there. It doesn't really carry in a way. It's yeah, it's, it's very mellow and, and maybe it's not soft, but it's just not like bam, here I am. Uh, and that's what I liked about the silver. It maybe uh, misses some warmth that I have in the gold, the mellowness. Um, the silver is definitely brighter, uh, but it's also like fuller and more present in a way. Uh, I like them both actually, so I think I'll just yeah <laughs> use uh, use them both. I bought them both, so uh, I'm happy that I like them both. Uh, the price difference, yeah, I think you know, the silver for thirty-five dollars and the gold for sixty-five dollars. Um, the gold is simply a lot more expensive because. The simple reason that gold as a material is uh, expensive, um, and uh, yeah, is it worth the extra price? I would say you know they're just different, and if you like the gold better, then um, then it's worth it. Uh, of course, you know it's me playing on my violin, on your violin, with your playing. It might all be different, of course. That's the yeah tricky thing about strings that you actually need to try them out yourself on your violin uh, to really know 
how they are but then you've already bought them so <laughs> that's kind of the silly thing i've bought so many different brands and types of strings in uh, in the last years and if you're watching this video and you're thinking like yeah i don't think it's the uh, string yeah it's always uh, more the skill than the gear of course so i've made this video for you uh, that is all about uh, vibrato on the g-string uh, the fourth finger on the g-string playing in high positions getting that warm and deep sound so if you're interested in that then um, go to that video uh, or here uh, i'll put it uh, kind of everywhere uh, because that's all about playing on the g-string how to make a good sound on it so i hope this was interesting to you please like this video if you want to see more reviews and uh, lessons mainly about uh, bowing technique then um, subscribe to this channel i love to welcome you as my youtube student and hope to see you in the next lesson bye bye